हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मेरा नाम मंदीप है और आज की वीडियो में हम बात करने वाले हैं एक रियल वर्ल्ड डेटा साइंटिस्ट के साथ और हम उनसे जानेंगे कि एक रियल वर्ल्ड डेटा साइंटिस्ट के रोल में कैसे आप स्विच कर सकते हो आ, कोई एक रियल वर्ल्ड डेटा साइंटिस्ट अपनी डे टू डे लाइफ में किन किन टेक्नोलॉजीज के ऊपर काम करता है या क्या क्या उसकी डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज रहती है क्या सैलरी रहती है किस एक्सपीरियंस लेवल पे कितना पैकेज आपको मिल सकता है और अगर आप किसी डिफरेंट रोल में हैं और इस रोल में अगर आप जाना चाह रहे हैं तो आपको किन किन टेक्नोलॉजीज या कौन कौन सी चीजें आपको पढ़नी चाहिए कैसे पढ़नी चाहिए कैसे प्लान करना चाहिए कैसे स्विच करना चाहिए ये सारी चीजें डेटा साइंटिस्ट के रोल के आसपास की इस एपिसोड में हम एक रियल वर्ल्ड डेटा साइंटिस्ट से समझने वाले हैं तो चलिए आज की वीडियो की शुरुआत करते हैं ऑल राइट थैंक्स फॉर ज्वाइनिंग एंड इट्स नाइस टू हैव डूइंग दिस डिस्कशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आपकी ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन से स्टार्ट करते हैं आई वुड लाइक टू नो आपका ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट योर प्रोफेशनल एक्सपीरियंस uh yeah thank you mandeep for inviting me actually i have total 10 year experience in it so mm-hmm. i started my career as a dba uh, so i worked in dba field like approx 7 uh, years approx 6 yeah approx 7 years mm-hmm. so i started my career with ibm so i was working as a db to dba uh then next year then cap gemini and right now i am working as a data scientist in essential like uh, in Uh, in data science, I have total two point ha two point five year experience in data science to me. Okay, uh, and uh, how did you get into the data scientist role? Basically, आपने शुरू में बताया कि आप पहले DBA role में थे, then you move to uh, data scientist role. Although थोड़े से matching role हैं, yeah. but still, how did you manage to get into the data scientist? Role? uh yeah for me data science was like a uh, new field because i was never into a coding because i was a pure db uh-huh. so i know sql like i was uh, doing the administration of databases with the sql plus some kind of like uh, you can say shell, uh, shell scripting so okay. to do like the automation of some like otherwise i don't have i did not had any like uh, coding experience at at all so it was uh, tough for me uh so when i searched uh, many things like uh, it's a booming uh, like uh, data science is now booming like lots of job lots of opportunities there so then i started searching for any kind of courses so first i joined my course in like um, i think 2017 yeah i joined jixa full stack data science course which was nice like uh, it was purely in r plus python it was very uh, like for me it was very nice because it give you a like uh, like you can say basic understanding like uh, which understanding of what kinds of mat- uh, material you should have like what kinds of maths you should know then some like basic algorithms very basic one after that it was like for me it was very interesting field so after that i searched and i joined a masters in which planning in the same domain like uh, data science and ai so from that it it uh, like it helped me a lot because uh, it uh, like clear my all theoretical uh, 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 theoretical uh, like it was very theoretical because uh, it with the practical you should have the ba- deep uh, knowledge of uh, like uh, theoretical but kind of uh, uh, like algorithms you want to use and how the background of those algorithms how they built like everything so after that i started uh, then after masters like uh, i started practicing like on the kaggle and uh, participated in one, like participated also in one of two competitions then after that i started uh, i asked my manager like in my uh, in my project like cap gemini where i was working mm-hmm. earlier so there is a data science project so i i asked my manager that i am very eager to learn the data science and i am doing the master also in data science can you align with me uh, align me with that project so i was handling two projects at that time so one was the data science and one was the my dba project okay. so from that i got the understanding then after the one year of uh, taking the knowledge from that project i started uh, giving the interviews then i got like selected in uh, essential finally as a data scientist okay so basically agar main summarize karu to aapne pehle shuru mein dba role se एसक्यूएल बैकग्राउंड का आपका वहां से शुरू किया फिर जिसको अकेडमी से आपने एक आइस ब्रेकिंग कोर्स किया उसके बाद आप करंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैप्चर में नई नई 
सिमिलर प्रोजेक्ट मिला उस इंटरेस्ट का एंड आपने वहां से अपना कुछ जो है एक्सपीरियंस गेन किया एंड आपने फिर एमटेक भी किया बेट्स के लानी से डब्ल्यू आई एल पी प्रोग्राम में सो अभी उसकी बात करते हैं डब्ल्यू आई एल पी प्रोग्राम की सो बेसिकली जो आपका एमटेक है डब्ल्यू आई एल पी प्रोग्राम एमटेक डेटा साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग उसने बेसिकली आपके इस ट्रांजिशन में क्या रोल प्ले किया बेसिकली आपकी एज ए डेटा साइंटिस्ट मूव होने में उसका कितना बड़ा रोल है Uh, मेरी एम टेक का बहुत बड़ा रोल है बिकॉज एक्चुअली इट वॉज द स्टार्टिंग यू कैन से सेकेंड लेवल लाइक फर्स्ट लेवल वॉज जिक्स एंड फ्रॉम यूट्यूब वीडियोज एंड द सेकेंड लेवल वॉज लर्निंग फ्रॉम द बिग्स प्लानिंग बिकॉज इट गिवस टू डीप अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट मैथेमेटिक्स बट काइंड ऑफ बिकॉज समबडी इफ समबडी विल से लाइक डू रिसर्च ऑन लीनियर लीनियर इक्वेशन एंड यू विल नेवर अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दे हैव बीन यूज इन लाइक एल्गोरिथम so every like aspect of how a one algorithm is working like, applying algorithm is very easy like if you go to kaggle you will get lots of examples like how we can apply but understanding of that thing actually how it's working then main problem in data science field is the optimization correct like everybody can uh, can do like uh, can build a model and run a model but how you will optimize your model Right. that not only come if you have the deep understanding of uh, algorithms and deep understanding of everything so uh, that my masters uh, masters did help me a lot like to switch my career from a uh, dba to data science okay okay so next is mai aapse puchna cha raha hu basically aap as a data scientist work kar rahe hain currently yeah. so basically uh, as a data scientist aapka ek typical working day kaisa hota hai jaise ki maan lijiye क्योंकि डेटा साइंटिस्ट के रोल में बहुत सारी चीजें होती हैं डेटा क्लीनिंग डेटा इंजीनियरिंग एंड बिल्डिंग मॉडल डिप्लॉयमेंट मॉनिटरिंग लॉट ऑफ स्टफ होता है उसमें बहुत सारी चीजें तो बेसिकली uh, आप थोड़ा सा ये गाइड कीजिए कि जैसे लेट से अगर मेरा uh, uh, आठ घंटे का दिन है uh, मतलब ओन एन एम उस आठ घंटे में से बेसिकली मेरा uh, इनमें से कौन सी एक्टिविटी में सबसे ज्यादा टाइम जाता है और फिर उसके बाद किस एक्टिविटी में टाइम जाता है समथिंग जैसे कि मैं मैं अगर क्वेश्चन को थोड़ा सिंप्लीफाई करूं लेट्स से अगर मैं सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट के रोल में हूं एग्जांपल के लिए तो मेरा मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम जैसे मेरा कोड लिखने में या रिक्वायरमेंट समझने में टाइम जाता है उसके बाद फिर जैसे कि मान लीजिए मेरा कोड रिव्यू करने में टाइम जाता है उस टाइप से तो आप डेटा साइंटिस्ट में बेसिकली किन किन एक्टिविटीज में आपका टाइम जाता है और कौन सी मेजर एक्टिविटीज Yeah. Uh, so actually, it depends upon the like a uh, project you have. So, for example, if I uh, I talk about my central experience. So earlier I was in in-house, so you can say in-house software, which was built by a central. It was purely AI yeah. software. So in that project, I mostly worked on the like optimization plus the model deployment. And one team was doing getting the data for us. One team was doing the cleansing and preparation of the data, and we were deploying plus optimizing the and doing the testing. Like after the deployment, we were doing the testing, then final uh, going to the clients, like final confirmation, all these things. So and the second, I think the biggest part is uh, as per me, the biggest part of data scientists is the data engineering only. Mm-hmm. So for example, if I talk about my current project. so it's purely in data engineering we build the model only once and uh, it was running fine after that uh, we are just like optimizing and we are just getting the data from different resources mm-hmm. and doing some optimization pi spark so that their jobs can run fine mm-hmm. then uh, like bit code uh, then uh, like uh, checking the code of others like uh, then testing uh, then preparation of test documents then presenting those things like whatever we have done how it's optimized from yesterday's to today to the client like it's a so it's a basic uh, so uh, before like entering to data science you must have a strong uh, understanding of sql that is a major mm-hmm. part okay. because mostly you can say 80% 70% of work is like data engineering mm-hmm. but yeah it depends again on the project so if you are in pure machine learning project so if other teams are doing the data pre processing for you mm-hmm. then your work will be just building the model testing and the deployment of the model mm-hmm. these three things so that will be purely coding 
and purely a purely technical stuff mm-hmm. then so if you are like on a consultant on a team lead uh, team lead type then you gather the requirement then you check which kind of uh, like a uh, pipe like which kind of language you will be suitable mm-hmm. like whether and then how you build model which model and then presenting to stakeholders so it's all these things here yeah. okay okay ओके ये आपने बहुत अच्छे से क्लियर किया ओके नेक्स्ट थिंग मैं आपसे पूछना चाह रहा हूँ कि एनी सजेशन फॉर द प्रोफेशनल गेट इन टू दिस रोल्स यस इफ समबडी वांट्स टू गेट इन टू डेटा साइंस डेफिनेटली ये दे हैव टू लाइक वर्क हार्ड दे दे कैन दे कैन डू सम लर्निंग देर आर मेनी नाइस वीडियोज ऑन यू ट्रू दे कैन स्टार्ट आफ्टर दैट दे कैन गो टू दई बी एम को अपनी जे के कोर्सेज Mm-hmm. then they can uh, they can learn um, i can share on your link that there are some machine learning and uh, data science good uh, uh, programs courses you can mm-hmm. say on udemy mm-hmm. after that so the, with these kind of materials you will get uh, like uh, you can have a deep i will not say deep like medium kind of knowledge right. after that if you want to advance your knowledge then pick up a some one topic for example if you are uh, want to whether you want to go deep learning mm-hmm. then just uh, uh, get a deep understanding of deep learning if you want to go nlp then just go with the nlp if you want to go with the ml then just go with the ml because getting all three information in a one package is very difficult because every company is using different uh, algorithm different software so you can't get all things by own definitely Correct. so then you can uh, learn from edx there are very nice from mm-hmm. harvard university very nice high level of courses which are very deep like even mathematics python whatever like it's very mm-hmm. nice then you can learn from mit open university there are many nice courses by mit open university mm-hmm. for machine learning and uh, mathematics also okay. so but you have to it's it's i will not say i will not say it's a very difficult you mm-hmm. can do but yeah definitely you need practice mm-hmm. plus learning like it's everyday learning if you can go for uh, Four hours every day. It's enough. Three to four hours every day. Like we, you know, on a week, we can like you can spend some more time. Okay. Uh, so in crisps, uh, आपने जैसे कि बताया कि पहले आप अपना एक base बना लीजिए concepts के ऊपर different resources के थ्रू. Then आप एक अपना कोई stream pick कर लीजिए. Let's say machine learning या deep learning या ML. and then aap usme apni mastery banaiye so let's say uh, yeah. uh, someone feels ki ha maine ek level tak ka uh, concepts clear kar liye hain and uh, mm-hmm. isi question ka tension hai uh, so let's say kisi ne ek level tak ka jo hai usko lagta hai ki ek level tak ke jo hai uske concepts clear ho gaye hain and uh, he is ready for mm-hmm. uh, to jump into the corporate in this role basically mm-hmm. he or she is ready to mm-hmm. जॉब uh, स्विचिंग के लिए कुछ सजेशन आप देना चाहेंगे कि uh, पर्टिकुलर चीजों का ध्यान रखना चाहिए यस जॉब स्विचिंग के लिए एक्चुअली डिपेंड्स ऑन विच कंपनी यू आर स्विचिंग सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई टॉक अबाउट माय सेल्फ आई वाज नॉट गुड इन द इन गुड कोडिंग सो इफ समबडी गिव मी ऑनलाइन कोडिंग टेस्ट अप you can say every company has some online coding i i will say at that time i can't clear that those uh, mm-hmm. first level of interviews mm-hmm. so uh, for example if you are like me like you have very less experience in coding then you can start giving interview to the very basic companies uh, mm-hmm. maybe i will say hcl wipro mm-hmm. accenture mm-hmm. like you can say non analytics companies mm-hmm. because these companies these days are not taking the uh, coding wrong first coding wrong so mm-hmm. it's like even this uh, data science is booming in india right now so mm-hmm. there are there are very less people which has experience in this field so it's a very nice time to switch in this field mm-hmm. so just start searching so for example if you uh, if you want to for example if there is uh, tiger analytics okay. if uh, at that time i started giving interview that definitely i will not succeed at that time because there level of uh, like questions uh, it's mm-hmm. it's very high because mm-hmm. i did not had that much of practical knowledge i like they will not ask you Uh, which algorithm how it work no they will ask you like a uh, uh, scenario based questions right. because at that time as a fresher 
we don't have that much of knowledge yes you can search on kaggle you will get lots of uh, like uh, do participate in competitions do mostly work on optimization like it's it's it will be a add in your resume okay. because the uh, building a model is not a it's a simple thing but uh, optimizing how you are optimizing plus the big data uh, processing for example pyspark Mm -hmm. uh, like big uh, good library like you can add this thing and plus the aws if you take i will not say aws so it's a cloud mm -hmm. so if you do any kind of first level of certification that will be add much weightage in your resume like okay. it will be very good for you okay okay uh, so next question let's say uh, someone abhi humne baat kiya ki कहाँ से शुरू करना चाहिए फिर देन वी डिस्कस कि कैसे स्विच करना चाहिए लेट्स से अब किसी ने स्विच भी कर लिया है तो अब बात करते हैं सैलरी की सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज तो लेट से कोई फ्रेशर है तो और फ्रेशर भी लेट से टीयर टू या टीयर थ्री कॉलेज है बिकॉज टीयर वन कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स दे डो नो फेस डेट मच डिफिकल्टी इन गेटिंग जॉब वो तो प्लेस बट लेट से टीयर टू और टीयर थ्री वाली जो जनता है जीरो लेट से कोई फ्रेशर है और लेट से पाँच साल का एक्सपीरियंस है लेट से दस साल का एक्सपीरियंस है इसी फील्ड में तो एक रफ आपके अकॉर्डिंग एक रफ सैलरी का क्या ब्रैकेट बन सकता है लेट से फ्रेशर की बात करते हैं पहले सो फॉर एग्जांपल फ्रेशर अगर वो डेटा साइंस फील्ड में आता है सो एज लाइक बट माई थिंकिंग लाइक अगर आपको डेटा साइंस फील्ड में जॉब मिल गया तो आप सैलरी नेगोशिएशन मत करो वहाँ पे बिकॉज दिस इज बट आई हैव डन एक्चुअली वेन आई स्विच फ्रॉम कैब जैम एन आई सो आई गॉट ओनली ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ हाइक बिकॉज आई डिड नॉट आस्क फॉर द हाइक फॉर मी फर्स्ट थिंग वॉज आई वॉन्ट टू गेट इन दिस फील्ड okay salary definitely salary is like a necessary thing but okay i can learn in 6 months then i can i will switch definitely i will get a good amount i will get a maybe 200% hike in that so as a fresher like uh, i think 5 to 6 lakh package or me it's it's like it's good if you are getting definitely you will get in data science this uh, this package is starting mm -hmm. so if i talk about five year experience for example if i like you take an example of mine only so if i like dba and then you are switching to like data science then definitely you can get a hike like 50 to 60% it all depends upon your negotiation it all depends upon how you present yourself like in the interview definitely and for example in that also it depends upon your background for example if somebody is already coming from a coding background definitely mm -hmm. he will get a more hike than like uh, my uh, mm -hmm. as i come from the db background definitely so that is a plus point mm -hmm. so uh, like if uh, you have a like experience of 5 years then definitely as per me it's a 18 lakh to 20 lakh it's okay. a, like it's a good amount uh, definitely like it's, it's again depends upon the companies and ah, all these factors it depends upon many factors company ya le aapka kitna package tha एक्सपीरियंस है तो अठारह से बीस लाख सो इसको अगर मैं कैलकुलेट करू तो पांच साल के एक्सपीरियंस पे अगर अठारह लाख है दैट मीन Three times your experience. Three point five times. So three yes. times, three point five times of your experience. So twenty yes. year ke upper bhi yehi formula applicable hai. Yes. 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 Ten years ke upper bhi yehi formula applicable. For for example, if I am a ten year experience, so I like salary hike will be thirty five to forty five figure. Like thirty five lakh to forty five lakh figure definitely. so salary is like huge like in these days if you like if you say i worked in 6 month in data science then definitely you will get a 200% hike also because this the booming technology like how we uh, how we saw in past like how cloud has boom like now it's right. a data science and ai yeah. okay uh, so uh, next question uh, ek uh, thoda sa wapis usi cheez pe aa rahe hain uh, 
कि लेट से स्टडी प्लान कैसा रहना चाहिए उसके लिए पूछ रहा हूँ मैं जो पहले से जैसे कि आपने बताया कि आपका पहला थोड़ा सा अलग प्रोफाइल था डीबीए का था लेट से मैं अगर अपनी बात करूँ तो मेरा भी सेम प्रोफाइल नहीं है आई एम नॉट ए डेटा साइंटिस्ट तो जो बिल्कुल ही डिफरेंट रोल में है तो उनके लिए स्टडी प्लान क्या क्या रहना चाहिए मतलब जैसे कि अब बहुत सारी चीजें मैं स्टडी प्लान में वो चीज पूछना चाह रहा हूँ कि जैसे कि मशीन लर्निंग हो गया और या फिर जैसे वाइस पार्क वगैरह जो बेसिकली डेटा स्ट्रीमिंग के ऊपर की टेक्नोलॉजी है या फिर जैसे बिग डेटा साइट की है क्योंकि ये बहुत सारी चीजें एक दूसरे से जुड़ी हुई है तो जैसे जिसको स्विच करना है उसे समटाइम्स ही और सी फाइंड इट कंफ्यूजिंग कि मैं क्या क्या पढ़ू मैं मशीन लर्निंग भी पढ़ू मैं डीप लर्निंग भी पढ़ू एम एल पी भी पढ़ू yes, मैं बिग डेटा भी पढ़ू मैं डेटा स्ट्रीमिंग भी पढ़ू yes. तो मैं क्या पढ़ू yes. तो वो yes, ये प्रॉब्लम डेफिनेटली ये प्रॉब्लम होती है बिकॉज uh, जब आप इट uh, इट Uh, actually agar aap uh, as a for example as a background of mine uh, which has mm-hmm. no experience in coding nothing at, at all but yeah i had experience in sql so first thing you must have a good experience in sql okay. so write the queries practice these things on your local computer maybe in mysql or any it does not matter but sql should be very strong Mm-hmm. and second thing is a coding but right now mostly you can say 80% of projects are using python only mm-hmm. they are like we have or also but it's python is used like in many projects so you can learn just python only so r you can learn maybe later so then second is the python and third thing is the like uh, do some uh, like uh, mathematics probability and stats is must Okay. After that, linear algebra is also must, but you can like you can learn the linear algebra. You can like do research on uh, questions, uh, interview questions for linear algebra, like for data scientists. Mm-hmm. You can learn these things after switching the job also because how you will get experience, then that will give you more understanding about these concepts. So, but probability and stats you must have the knowledge. because uh, if you have a data set you must have the knowledge like what kind of this data when it's a normal distribution like these are uh, some mm-hmm. like the descriptive stats you must have so th- this is very necessary like you must have the probability and stats in submission and then third you can learn the ml algorithms like uh, mm-hmm. all the basic algorithms which you are like like which we are using mm-hmm. and uh, in ml also like for example if uh, you are giving an interview just be specific just mention for example if you have a very uh, if you got a very uh, deep understanding about five algorithm mm-hmm. that does not matter whether they are nlp they are deep learning or like ml just mention those algorithm in your resume mm-hmm. and when you are giving the interview you can say i worked on this algorithm mm-hmm. i practice on these algorithm i have done this kind of optimization in kaggle because if you mention that you have uh, participated in competitions of kaggle that is also give you a good weightage in your resume actually it's okay. it's very good and uh, Uh, second thing you can say in your at the time of your interview that i have also a critical knowledge about deep learning also like deep learning algorithms also okay. but you must not say like i have i know 20 algorithm then because interview will for example interview start one algorithm he will go uh, he or she will go deep in that algorithm mm-hmm. definitely like uh, how you are running on how much big data set you have in and uh, how you done the optimization so in that way just mention maybe just study only five six algorithms very deeply practice on those algorithms and you can say in the interview that you know this but yeah you have the knowledge of others and apart from this you uh, you can uh, if you have any visualization tool experience or tableau power bi these are very easy to learn very like, it's not tough so it will be again a more weightage on your resume because if you are uh, work, if you are starting as your career as a data uh, like a, a fresher then you may be signed as a data analyst correct so first uh, career level will be data analyst then data scientist after data scientist you can go maybe as a ml engineer ml ml practitioner or maybe you can go in a managerial level like data science manager or like some non technical like maybe behind 
so uh, these things uh, after that like pi spark yes definitely pi spark is mostly used in like all uh, because a bit pi spark only because in all the projects uh, we are processing huge amount of data which is possible only in pi spark so for example if i have million for example you can say if i have 10 million rows of data then i can't read in a pandas data frame it will break it out Correct. so i have i have a knowledge i must have a knowledge of pi spark yeah basic understanding like not a huge like how you will read this read csv in uh, pi spark data frame mm. then uh, pi spark data frame then you will create a temporary views then it's a all sql after that like fetching all these thing yeah these are like uh, and any cloud technology it's a plus like uh, even it's it's a easy cloud technology are not like tough because they are like uh, goi based so it's a easy Correct. so aws has a more uh, like a more market value like mm -hmm. as compared to but gcp also if you going for gcp you can get a good knowledge about databricks it's widely used it's used in many projects uh, databricks okay. so yeah how you can and other tools there are like many other tools but don't bother about other tools because every project use different tools so maybe right. someone is using the airflow for data pipeline someone may be using the snowflake so you will get that knowledge in the project even i don't think any interviewer will ask you must have a knowledge of 20 to 30 tools no right. if he or she is asking then they are just idiots because nobody have that knowledge 20 to 30 so yeah like this way you can like prepare you can just give one hour every one hour, like every day one hour give to coding then practice like on coding uh, optimization these things then on the background just all the algorithm uh, theory and uh, a little bit mathematics yeah. okay okay uh, so last question uh, as to you uh, yeah. uh, future scope of this code aapko kya lagta hai um as per me future scope is very nice uh, but agar main baat karu deep learning mein bahut hai kyunki deep learning aur nlp bahut sari mani aise problems hai jo abhi unsolved hai to okay. so, jaise aapki genetic algorithms hai aap usme ja sakte ho kyunki uh, matlab ye hai ki aap uh, isme wahi hai ki hum machine learning ko as a optimization problem bolte hain mm -hmm. to matlab usme ye hai ki aaj se hamare jo 10 saal pehle hamare ne chatbots run ho gaye the wo As, as के comparison नहीं थे अच्छे आज बहुत अच्छे हैं तो मे बी इन फ्यूचर और भी अच्छे होंगे तो इट्स जस्ट अप्टिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम तो स्कोप है डेफिनेटली है मतलब अब ये कह सकते हो कि ट्वेंटी थर्टी ईयर्स तक होगा बट अगर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इसमें बहुत ज्यादा एडवांसमेंट हो गई बहुत ज्यादा रिसर्च हो गई तो डेफिनेटली इट कैन कॉज अवर लाइक जॉब ऑल्सो बिकॉज एवरी थिंग वी बी ऑटोमेटेड सो दैट बट यार राइट नो इन द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी ईयर्स डेफिनेटली इट्स स्टार्ट लर्निंग वन थिंग विच इज अंडर रिसर्च लाइक विच इज इट्स अंडर रिसर्च सो फॉर डीप लर्निंग इट्स जस्ट स्टार्टेड इन टू थाउजेंड आई थिंक ट्वेल्व ओनली इट्स गेटिंग अ बोम नाउ सो यू कैन डू सम रिसर्च इन दैट एरिया लाइक जेनेटिव एलगोरिथम सो Okay, okay. So that's all from my side, uh, Kiranji. And thanks for joining. Ah, yeah. uh, say, you have to make queries at least resolve. Ki hai. Inke liye bahut jada thank you. And shayad baaki logo ke liye bhi ye bahut jada helpful rahega. So again, thank you for joining me. And take care. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, Mandi. Thank you. Thank you so much.